Here, the apocalypse begins. Thank you to our final patrons, Strawbones, Red Wolf 4765, and Midnight Gem Lord. Now, before we come to this right now, slash live reaction to chapter 138 of Undead Unluck, please, if you want to leave your own thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a patron down below, even more for as low as one, come to one dollar a month to continue exclusive videos, early content, and more. Also, also, I do have memberships on the channel that you can get to get many of the same perks that patrons get but maybe even more now let's hop into the live reaction what's up guys i'm a pencil and here we are to do a live reaction to chapter 138 of undead unluck which is known as i i i don't know they don't have the the chapter title on the first page and that's all i'm looking at right now however let's not waste any more time editing me ready three two one go <clears throat> greetings as always, I do in fact have it on me, but who knows, you know, <laughs> Peak Lock has been on a streak recently <laughs> in terms of, not Peak Lock, shoot, I'm thinking of the other chapters I need to review, <laughs> I react to, but Undead and Luck has been on a streak recently, so I'm gonna assume it's gonna be worthy, but I won't draw it just yet, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry, let's find out, okay, the artifacts up, 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 apocalypse. From the moment we open it, the round table room, it will present us with quests once every three months. Tales, miss. If we succeed, it'll give us rewards. Ooh, fancy. But if we fail to clear them all, then as a penalty, it will spawn an Uma to add a rule to the world that didn't previously exist. Well, that sucks. They basically have us by the. Sh they basically have us by the short hairs. What does that mean? They basically have us by the short. I mean, I guess like. Chin hair? I don't, I don't know. That's a weird. Never heard of that phrase before. Had us by the short hairs. So I'm explaining that to me because I can't Google it right now. But regardless, but the last mark, but that last loop marked the end of that cycle. Oh, I, I'm assuming. I still think it's in with, within Apocalypse's power to do that. But I think what Fuku's saying here is now that she has the perfect plan laid out, they're never gonna have to worry about that. Like, they're never going to worry about failing a quest. They have all the information they need, and they can do it pretty much perfectly. At least that's what I assume, if I had to take a guess. This time, it's our turn. Still, I'm not going to lie. Time skip Fuko has gone crazy. Like, in terms of just character development, Fuko, shoot, that, character development, crazy. Skills development, crazy. Ability development, crazy. Everything, crazy. Like, legitimately, if you were to ask me what I thought this time skip was going to be like, it wouldn't be this. <laughs> Like, I, I had high hopes. Like, Undead and Luck is a good series. That's why I'm live reacting to it. I'm like, some of the things in Shonen Jump. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But regardless, I never... Oh, <laughs> 138, Accentive. There's the chapter title. But with that being the case, like... I really, really, really like the direction that Tozuka Sensei went with Fuko. It is unbelievably impressive. And I can't wait to see what Andy's development is going to be like. Like... Bro still isn't even back in the narrative yet. Our other main character isn't even here yet. And with how much development Fuko is undergone, you know Andy gonna be crazy with it. The development gonna be nutty. Let's see. This time, it's our turn. I'll be the one running the show. Aight! Aight! Oof, whiff, 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 whiff. Finally, I'm tired of waiting. The, the, the book! It spoke! None of the ice is gonna... What the heck? Hmm? What do we have here? What does he sound like? What would, I know the enemy's coming out next year. What would the apocalypse sound like? <laughs> See, it's not just a multi-voice. I feel like it'd be like a, a almost high-pitched craze voice. I'm trying to think of an example. See, this is why I need to watch more anime, just so I can have more references for voices, but... <laughs> Finally, I'm tired of waiting. Hmm? What do we have here? Like that... I've... Sounds like a like a side Disney villain. <laughs> That's what I imagine Apocalypse would sound like. What do we have here? It's already the 70s. Oh, wow. It's already the 70s. You only have this many people on your team. Wow, you really are enough of the wisecracks. Okay, Fugo, talk that talk. Talk that smack talk. <laughs> to get your money up like that, Fugo. Talk that smack. Talk that smack. I like it. Let's just start, Apocalypse. <laughs> We're not a front, are we? Open the quest. 
Neutralization of Uma. Spo okay, I remember Spoil. Neutralization of Uma. Stop. I do not remember Stop. <laughs> Capture of Uma. Kindness. Mmm. Location. Reward. Location of Negator of Repair. Ooh. Okay. That's a solid reward. Lo location of Artifact Blade Runner. I forget which one that is. I think. Is that Andy Sword? I'm not sure. Uh, location of Artifact Neoi Kinko Staff. Is that... Is that the power bolt? <laughs> Regardless, these are some these are some fire awards. Okay, Fuku, let's hop on it right now. All two men. Oh, oh, okay. All two members are allowed to answer the penalty for the pa failing is the addition of Uma Ghost. Oh wow! So yeah, the order is kind of randomized because Uma Ghost wasn't introduced until way later in the timeline. Like Uma Ghost was one of the last people we fought. <laughs> so kind of crazy. Each quest boasts a high difficulty. Try them and die. Run and be de not pe penalized. <laughs> penalized. That that P is so close to a D. I thought it said penalized. Will you try or will you run? It's one or the other. Unlock. And I and I like how Apocalypse is one of the is literally the only creature outside of Andy and the user of the Round Table. And obviously, like Sun and Moon, Luna and Soul to remember the previous timelines and all the different loops and be like, hey, <laughs> this is your challenge now. You took up the spot. Let's see how you do. I don't know. It's, <laughs> sure, it's a crazy evil book that wants to destroy the world, but like at the same time, I think it's really, I think it's a nice touch. Pass. Huh? Wait. Wait a minute. Like, th this was not on the, I thought you were just going to go and body bag him. Huh? You can just pass. So I'm doing an artifact's memory. I can do that too, right? Yeah, you'll be receiving a penalty. Penalty addition Uma. Oh, he spat him out. But wait, wait. One, there's a fly in my room. I believe it. Was that it? Did I get him? There's no longer a fly in my room. <laughs> but two... We, we really just skipping? Wait, so does does she already know all this? I'm assuming... Okay, maybe she just knows all that. So I guess the rewards aren't useful and maybe risking it here, but, like... Don't you still... Like, if you skip the quest, don't you need to still stop the three that appear? Or am I, am, am I, am I missing something? Oh, man, this is crazy. She just said... And she said so casually, what's going on here? You can just pass... So I'm doing an artifact's memories. I can do that, right? Yeah, you but you assume penalty. Penalty addition of Uma Ghost. Hey, do you see anything? Huh? You can't see it, Nico? As of this moment, the rules of the world have been rewritten. This rule will act as if it's always existed and greatly changed the pace of human history and behavior. This. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> penalty addition of Uma Ghost. This rule will act as if it's always existed and greatly changed the face of human history and behavior. This is my power. Well, are you gripped with fear knowing your predictions are changing as we speak? Sure, uh, that's, uh, that's a thing and all, but ghosts being added... Does ghosts really being added really inconvenience us? Oh, most of the penalties aren't anything to fear on their own. There were just people who were abused. Oh, who abused them the last time around. Us being alive right now is standing proof of that. Oh, ooh, that's an, I like it. That's an interesting way to twist it. That's an interesting twist to put on the narrative. Interesting. So it's all about perspective here because I suppose you could use. Huh. Us being alive and standing right now is proof of that. Somebody put the existence of, outside of some extreme cases, adding rules isn't an immediate threat. So on that note, hurry up and bring out the next one. A Pocky. Yo. Imagine being the primordial book that hails the destruction of the world. And this one person you met decides to call you a Pocky. The disrespect is a different level. This is crazy. Do you think passing? Did you think passing would come without risks? This world will lose one year's time. What? 
As of right now, all time outside the round table room has been moved forward by one year. Keep this up and you'll be on the fast track to Ragnarok. Without time to prepare for it, you'll die miserable deaths. Yep, I knew about the risk. Was that? <laughs> she, okay. Once again, Fugo, just a different league right now. Like, a different next level. What is this? This is this is actually crazy. She's literally, like, uh, is this wild to say? She's playing it better than Juiz did in 99 loops. Like, that's wild. She's just casually out here stunting, flexing, posing. <laughs> Jojo posing. Like, wow. And yep, I knew about the wrist. What's that? I'm going to be spending 20 more times. So keep 20? You're going to sack 20 years? You're going to skip straight to 19 something? 19. Quick mass. 1974? What? Not 1974. 1994? Why? Keep them coming. I forget. What do they call this in mobile games? Oh, yeah. Re rolling. <laughs> I guess because she's, <laughs> she's been around so long, she forgot what a mobile game is. <laughs> yeah, let's get re rolling. Let's let the good times re roll. <laughs> times to reload. Zigbar. But. Hold the phone, Fuko. 20 years. 20 times means 20 years. What about the guys inside? What about our lab members, Bao and the others? Mr. Bao and the others happily agreed to this. What? They said they could conduct research easier without you around. <laughs> wow. Still, you can't. It's like the book said. We don't have enough prep time. We have a lot of artifact and negator searching to do, don't we? Wait, you see, I have a good idea where most of them are located. Okay, so she still does have a whole bunch of information. Ah, uh, okay, I see why she's doing this, though. Because, and that makes, ah, uh, now, it, now it's, all, it's all starting to come together, baby. Okay, so the thing is, if she had done the quest organically without the time skip, as Apocalypse himself pointed out, as Apocalypse himself pointed out, th they have such a limited number of people on their team. So... Without with those few people actually running through the quests, wouldn't it wouldn't necessarily be a waste of time, so to say, but it would be less optimal in terms of teamwork and utility. And also, if you do it organically and say these quests do take twenty years, Fuko's the only immortal one. Gina, Nico, very powerful assets would also be aging at this time. And that could cause a lot more issues when they're out of their primes, they're gridded, they're hardened by all these difficult quests versus having them fresh and youthful. So Fuko skipping these 20 years probably gives Shen, his whole character arc has probably happened at the end of the, if she does go with the 20 year reroll, Shen's whole character arc has probably already happened. He's now a viable combatant. Top has probably been born and gone through at least part of his character arc. He's already happened. Um... What's her name? The girl in the ball. She's already happened. At least now they should be. Because the thing was, Gino was much older than everyone else. And so was Nico in the original timeline. So by using this isolation point, this set point in time where everyone doesn't have to age, essentially she's allowing herself to have the prime candidates of all. She gets prime age Shen. She gets prime age Tom. She gets prime age Untouchable. She gets prime age all of them. While also getting prime age... Realistically, Unchange and Nico are the only two ones, but those abilities are really, really good. They're really, really major. So I'm not shocked because everyone else was already kind of in Prime Age. So getting these two to Prime Age while I'm skipping all this and being able to alter the world with these specific. I like it. That's a to Yo. <laughs> you may call this premature. It's worthy, baby. It's worthy. But I'll go into more depth. Like, and I'm not even done with the chapter, and it's already proven itself worthy. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. I don't like it. Okay, Tazuka sits. This is maybe. This is creeping up. Especially if this has a good ending, unlike Dr. Stone. Who knows? Who knows where this thing could go in my ranking? You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Incoming. Oh, man. I always figured I'd live a short life doing my own sleep. But now I get to experience the science of the. And that's right. She also dropped. Wow. Huh? Am I the oddball here? It's three against one, Mr. Nico. Okay, fine, do whatever. Thanks a bunch. You fool. I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's a bad move. This is... Okay, so he's just... Just popping them all out. This is the way. Interesting. I wonder what effects it's going to have on the world outside, though. Open the quest. The penalty is Uma Insect. The reward is a little 
artifact I know you want called Life. Life is strange. Is that a reference? Can can they do? Is that a legal thing they can do? Can you? I was about to hit you with that guy with ASMR, but I don't. I don't need it. But life is strange. Is it? Is that copyrighted? Shonen doesn't own that. Obviously, it's a PC game. Life is straight. Oh, interesting. I said pass a baki. The biggest roadblock in the loop is the time. Yeah, that's that's still nutty. Time back between Miss Gina and Mr. Nico's group showing up in the 70s and Rip and Mr. Billy's group showing up in the 2000s. That's true. Man, that's crazy. I love that. That is such an interesting way to use the penalty system super well. I'm <laughs> Call me McDonald. I'm loving this, bro. What? The time gap between Mr. But if we keep on the straight and narrow, doing each quest one by one, we're bound to lose someone before we can even meet up. That's also true. The next closest tragedy is 28 years away. If we have 28 tries, then the, then the more we spin, the better off we are. These penalties for passing aren't drawbacks to me. There are ways to avoid doing unnecessary quests. Yo, Fuku's brain is so fat right now. She got a fat, her brain is as fat as Senku. I don't have to do too much of that, guys. I think some more, but that's great. That's nutter butters. That is nutter butters right there. What? And I love how serious she. Look. Yo, Tazuka Sensei, you're snapping right now. Snapping. As well as time saving measure to expedite recruitment. Pass, 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 pass. Look at all these demons, insects. Th thirst? Oh, thirst. Pass. These penalties we yield the greatest profit ever. 1998. <laughs> I wonder if this hurts him. Is this annoying? I have five spins left. I can get what I want of these five spins. <laughs> Look how many evil are great. I love it. I lo I'm loving it. I'm loving it. How dare you get confident with me? Try this one on for size. Neutralization of Uma Burn. Reward the location of Negator Undead. Not yet. Right in. So Andy's on his own. Yo, you know, if Fuko came back, it is this G-ish, this next level of a character. You know, Andy, word for word, bar for bar, undead, is going to be wild. I I am unbelievably excited to see Bro come back. It's not time. I pass Apocalypse. Look, and she was so close. You can see, you can see Apocalypse was... Definitely like ba banking on that one, but no, Fuku's developed enough to not rely on Andy. She knows he'll be there when it matters. I love it, bro. I'm loving the series, dog. I've had this apocalypse. It's not time to see you yet. Penalty, addition of Uma Shark. Total of 26 years skipped. Open the quest. Neutralization of Uma Autumn. A reward, addition of the third seat. Capture of Negator, unavoidable. Keep from award of artifact to remember. There it is. Location of the artifact to remember. Ah, okay. So I wonder who she's going to use that on. Would it be Juiz? Is she going to bring back Juiz? No. And then she can still wield the rebellion sword because she'd have a, all a hundred. Yeah. Um. I already drew it earlier. A chapter already. Proved it, but let it be known that chapter 138 of Undead Unluck is now peak dead, peak luck. For that was fire. That was fire. That was fire. Obviously, it's just like playing the game Omega super crazy well, like beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's just top tier. Knowing how to use and manipulate the situation based off your previous experience and then just literally re-rolling like a video game. But I, I, I love it. I love how Fuku's experiences have truly changed her and put her to this level of like autonomy, thought, next level existence. Like most people wouldn't be able to exist like this, but no, Fuku's planned it out like this and it's amazing. It's how she tricked Apocalypse. She used the system that is meant to penalize her in her favor. She literally re- 
it's beautiful score i love it i love it I'm, there's literally nothing this chapter the chapter gets it the chapter gets it. i already kind of went over and crazy like lost my mind over why i think the chapter is worthy if you don't think the chapter is worthy i mean i i get it maybe because not technically not but then again so much happens in this chapter like not much happens on screen we're just seeing all these negators and stuff that we've seen before and all these different people and things but regardless the main thing is 26 years have passed in the outside world the world now has a bunch of new umas we're in a really weird chaotic state and it's beautiful and i love it and it's great and peak dead peak luck however that's what i think please so much you guys think in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching remember to like share comment and subscribe make sure that little notification bell so you miss out on any videos that come to the channel also also i do a patreon down below you can support for as low as one come to one dollar month because exclusive videos early content and more also also you can become a member of the channel for three dollars a month to get things like exclusive member perks such as priority comment response emojis and channel membership icons so there's a lot to see however thank you so much for watching once again and i hope you guys have a wonderful day this is that guy with a pencil writing off